Well, I'm Ranger Kooky, and I want to show you this camp. Before I show you this camp, I'm going to tell you the story, or, damn it. I want to show you that video about this area. Let me go in a little deep into the woods, so we won't hear all these cars. I want, all right, I want to show you the video of this camp, all of what's all about, right? Now. Well, I'm Ranger Kooky. And I want to show you a place where a gentleman passed away back here. He passed away, I think, 1995 or so. And his campsite's rally right here. So we're going to find it. There used to be an old house out here. And the fella that used to camp out here. He buried the house slowly. All right, the house used to be over here somewhere. And it was a, 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 a hobo. This hobo lived out here for many years until one cold night took his life. Um, I felt this tent a long time ago and I'm trying to find it again to show you. When you're out here camping in cold weather, make sure you have the right equipment. Because he lost his life out here in the cold, extreme cold weather. Uh, I used to go to the little time saver up the road and open the door. Ah, I found the old house. Right here. Now, if I'm not mistaken, his tent should be somewhere is over here. So let's go find his tent. And what he was doing, he was taking the old pieces of wood from this old house and burying it. The landlord, the landowner, knew about this. He didn't mind him staying out here because he didn't do nothing bad. Um... But he, he passed away out here. You'll probably find his tent somewhere out here or remnants of a tent that he had. I just left it because it, it was a reminder of bad, bad things that could happen out here. And once again, oak trees around this old, old building. So I wish you'd just take a walk around this place to see what's going on. There's a bayou over here. Goes to the Bayou Liberty, and there's a trail, I think, over there, too. So let's take a look. Let's find out what's out here. Um, back in the day, he used to go take a bath naked in the waters down there below. And his campsite is nearby. I just had to find it. Yeah, sometimes you're going across that bridge over there and you see him swimming down here naked. <laughs> it was funny to look at. Or fun to watch. Well, you can't watch because you just pass it by and you see a naked man down below taking a bath. I found the old trail. Look, it's by your liberty. Footprint. 
footprints, fresh too. Oh shit. Hello! <laughs> I don't want to intrude in your camping space. <laughs> I'll leave. <laughs> Let me turn off my... Alright, well... Alright, we're going to go back onto my adventure and show y'all some stuff. And I found a new bushcrafter he's living on his own he's from new york he's been living here for about two weeks and i'm going to show you his house but right now i'm on my way home well i'm back you just saw this the video about this place now i'm going to show you the update it's been about three or four months i didn't see no activity here about maybe a month or two Give or take three months to two months that I've been out here to check up on this guy. Because I do check on him time to time. Let's get a little deeper away from these damn cars. So, I've been, I... Why people buy noise making video, uh, 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 noise making vehicles? Okay, now, good, it's quiet. So I do checkups on this guy to see if he's still here. I like this place. I like to have this as my camp, but there's a curse here, I do believe. In the original video you just saw, the man passed away. I found this tent right over here somewhere. Two hunters or two hikers found this body. They had all kinds of stuff about his about him. So this person, tragedy. I'm going to show you his camp. And I don't really know what happened, but I have to take it and assume what happened. Enjoy the woods as you... His camp was right there. You can barely see it through the woods. But it was a big camp. I assure you, this camp had everything. Let's take a look. Now this camp area has been abandoned. I uh, do not know what happened to the owner of this camp, but his camp was pretty big. Let me uh, point out where, where his camp was. Around where those logs is, all the way around here, he had a big dome tent here. In front was his, uh, like his, picnic area where he's he can he had a lot of blankets and carpet he had carpet down too and he has the tent and he had a tarp going over see all the rope and I think what happened something went off and caught his stuff on fire I meant the trees are singed it's black it's burnt plastic burnt plastic everywhere the tree is burnt. The ground is burnt where he stayed at. I do not know what happened to this fella. I don't know if he's, he got burnt severely or he just burnt his stuff and he left. But this whole area where he, this is his camp. This is his bedding. I never seen it. I visited this guy. I We shot BB guns at the uh, target over there. And... Uh, and I talked to this guy. It was kind of like a—he's not—he was a homeless guy. 
but he had his job he had a job he was making buku money but he was just kicked out of his house or some type of home and he had to live out here he had a nice setup he had I mean from that over there to oh way over here he had tarps and stuff you can see burnt string this area is charred I tried to do research to see if I could find this fella what happened did this machine here this uh, catch on fire I don't know what happened I don't know what happened to this fella and yeah, look there's a tank here it's empty but still a tank it looked like he um, came out here to clean up a little bit and threw away some stuff because if this was fired that all be fired too but it was kind of odd only the circle spot where his cap was he had a nice cap I mean it came way out here uh, lean to you it was beautiful out here I enjoyed coming out here I was ready to go camping with him I had my little camp system right over there between those two trees I was gonna make videos about him but I feel that I was like invaded in this guy's privacy so I didn't bother I didn't bother coming back out because I might invade his privacy or something but all this area is all charred and, and tent poles and his tents and his everything's charred his rope all the rope on this place is charred and it looks like he just took what he thought is really valuable and left the rest here so now this camp is now an abandonment I thought about camping here you know taking over this spot but there's I see there's like a, a curse or something here one person passes away up there this place's place burns up so if I camp here I might get killed I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do it but I will take whatever I think I need or I like to take I don't like to say that word take but this place been abandoned once you abandon your camp and it's been like it's it's horrible condition right now it's very horrible condition that he abandoned his camp he took what he wanted see you way over here look at this tarp it's burnt he had he had a nice place it was big it was like a big L shape all this was protected and he had tables you can see tables uh, me and him shoot uh, these targets over here we had cans up see if you go out in the woods and you see something like that dump it that keep the skeeters from coming around and your camp too we shot all kinds of targets out here see he has a little <laughs> target box out here little cash register box makes me wonder about this place and there's m multiple trails going through this place so I'm gonna do some investigation and some hiking to these areas and see if I can find anybody else there's uh, was another campsite way over there but they have moved and it looks like he did some sawing out here and some Here's all the cans that me and him shot. It was kind of fun. We're having fun out here shooting cans. But this gentleman, I don't know what happened to him. I'm not being honest. I'm just being honest. Um, it's been abandoned. So if anything I see, I might, I'll go ahead and I'm going to pick it up. Because it's been abandoned. Now look, I mean, I don't know what happened. I don't know if the fire caught his stuff on fire and just went all the way through his camp no other woods been burnt it makes me wonder if it was self inflicted burn uh, he had a generator because here's parts of the generator you know the old saying about recalls on generators and stuff so it could have been a, a, a recall on a maybe a generator and that's probably what happened. The generator blew up. There's the generator parts. There's the generator stand. And it looks like it just caught on fire, this whole area. 
this is his it was like a little walk path here but it looks like the fire started here not started but it in or started somewhere in this location all kinds of you know camping gear he had plenty of it and he had a nice big area i meant it was that was his bed he had a, then it had a tarp over the top of it so it protects him from the rain and the elements and he had a tarp all over it had, oh man it was it was nice and I was gonna come back maybe I thought about not coming back which I didn't I didn't come back to find out what made him come out here to live like this but he did tell me that he did it cuz of money it was cheaper to live out here in the woods than have a have a house so look at this I wonder if I can use that it's all dirty and nasty now it looks like an old camp uh, camp uh, sternal thing so I'm gonna put this over here I might take this it's trash I thought about taking this table but the table didn't want to fold its legs so I just left it. It's it's easy to make one of those. All right, let's go adventure. There's some crutches over here. I don't think I will need any crutches. An old table, I mean old chair stand and some. Damn, this one had a backing and everything. I just wanted to show you all this area that this homeless guy was living here and. I don't know what happened. I try to do research, like I've said before, I try to do some research about this area, see if a man gets burned and homeless man gets burnt or dies, or I typed in different sayings so I could see if I could find this gentleman. He probably moved with his friend, I don't know. He had a friend that came out here, gave him supplies and beer, bought him beer. Uh, you see a lot of beer cans and beer bottles. That's one thing I kind of don't like about camp us, the, the uh, homeless people, because they drink and they leave all the shit. It was in a container. It was I spilled the water and cans. Looks like he was saving the cans to uh, recycle. So he's doing good, but bad at the same time. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go down this trail over here. Ow, freaking high needles. He has a nice area because over here is a bayou. It looks like you've been target practicing. Um, he's he said when I talked to him, he was out here for like two years when I.